the sad house bonus and Philip. Okay. Also, another bonus that I'm working on this and, week and, is hold on. You've used a little bit of terminology here. Okay. So, what do you mean by a happy house versus a sad house? Okay. So, a lot of times people talk about pretty houses and ugly houses. I'm going to start calling them happy houses and sad houses. Uh, there's a cease and desist order running around the uh, coaching industry. Uh, the people that have trademarked ugly houses and the people that have trademarked pretty houses are sending out cease and desist orders that we can no longer use those as general terms. So I'm going with happy houses and sad houses. Well, they better be careful because actually if it becomes a general enough term, they lose their Trademark. right to it. But whatever. Clean I like happy and sad better. They're happy houses and sad houses. You drive by them and they look happy. They look like they could be just a little bit happier. Or you drive by and they just look so sad. I need some TLC. I need you. Uh, yeah, really, that's going on. So I'm going happy and sad houses. I claim it before you see any other coaches claiming that. Happy and sad houses. Oh, yeah, baby. Okay, so I'm going to add a bonus to talk with Tyler. We'll get about an hour out of Tyler to talk about pricing and to talk about um, staging an Airbnb and a VRBO and all that stuff. May even dip in and talk to Sherry and see, you know, what she knows and add that as a bonus. Um I'll put a bonus in, like a case study on my three sad houses. Oh, I have four. I've got the outhouse house. That was a sad house. Oh, yeah. So I got four sad houses. That one brings me $500 a month and it's already free and clear. So now I've got $1,400 a month coming in. Four deals bring me $1,400 a month. Plus I got five. 10,000 in option fees. The two without electricity, I didn't get any big, I'll tell you honestly, I didn't get any big option fees on those because they don't have electricity. I would rather people kept that 5,000 and put electricity in the house. Call me crazy. He does it all the time, at least twice a day. Uh, and I'm going to go with Philip. Uh, Philip is my friend in Texas and he does lease options in Texas. So he's going to do an hour with us so that we have a bonus in First Deal Done Fast on how to do sandwich lease options in Texas. Oh, and did I tell you, I'm going to be on a podcast, podcast, surprise, surprise, uh, with Mitch Stevens. And he's got like 1,500 lease options in San Antonio. Look at me. Look at me. I'm so excited, but that's not coming up until the end of September, maybe even October. So I'll get with Philip and see how we do lease options, sandwich lease options in Texas. I'll do a case study on my four sad houses and how you can make money in sad houses because I am making pretty good money in the sad houses. Okay. okay, so the first one I sold for 12, I had three in it. That's a $9,000 profit. The first one, I mean, the second one I have maybe 500 bucks in, I sold it for 10,000. So there's a $9,000 profit. There's 18,000 there. And the second one, I've got 7,000 in, I sold it for 20, that's 13. So what's 18 and 13? 21, uh, 31. 21, and then the one up in Tennessee, I sold it 31. for 50 the second time. So that takes up to $80,000 that we have 10,000 invested in? And 14, 1,400 a month. There's some pretty good money in sad houses, okay? I think we've got a total right now of $10,000 invested in four sad houses because the the Tennessee one's already free and clear. We're on our second tenant buyer on it. And we're looking at at least an $80,000 profit. So would you invest $10,000 and get 80 back? Anybody? Bueller? Because I can teach you how to do that in first deal done fast. When you get in first deal done fast, I mean, you've seen the rock stars in there talking about, holy crap, there's a lot of stuff in here. Holy crap, this is a lot better than it used to be. <laughs> yes, it is. And there's a workbook to go with it. Yay! Yeah! All right, so... If you can add $300 a month out of one deal, it's going to take you three months to get your investment back out of first deal done fast. 
if you get an option fee, if you get a dinky little $5,000 option fee on the first house and you do that within 12 weeks, you made $4,000 on your investment and now you've got all of my knowledge that you can go and access forever and ever, amen. I really don't know what else you could ask for except to be you. You talking about in terms of knowledge? No, I'm talking about in terms of being able to crack into my brain all the time. Oh, okay. You lucky duck, you. Mm -hmm. I feel lucky every day. Isn't it cute? <laughs> <laughs> you okay? Yeah. I'm good. <laughs> all right. So, first deal done fast. If you go to winningnicely.com slash go, it's $9.97. First deal done fast. There's nine modules there's a bonus section do you want to tell them about the bonuses you were talking about this earlier there if you if you bought off the webinar there's three bonuses there four no matter if you buy off the webinar or if you just go to winningisolate.com slash go and get it there there's two pages of bonuses that we give you in First deal done fast, and then we just added three more. Well, we had a list of about nine that we didn't even talk about. Well, that's this list. It's how to build a team. So talking to attorneys, insurance agents, accountants, inspectors, appraisers, mortgage brokers. It's the honey hole exercise so that you know where to buy and how to buy. No, that just tells you where where to find your honey hole. Uh, we talk about probate leads and you know how to deal with dead people. Uh, I've got the perfect one-liner in the bonuses. Oh, I've got an agent bonus. Listen, if you're an agent, you've got to have this bonus right here. It's the agent bonus, okay? And it is dealing with expired listings and doing cold calls. It's the uh, add-on to the one-liner, the agency one-liner, and the personal interest and disclosure. Because when you're an agent, when you buy and when you sell, when you do lease options and when you sell on lease options, Everybody has to know. You disclose, 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 and then you disclose. Okay? Don't hide that. I give you the uh, contract you need so that you're covered. Everybody knows I'm an agent. Okay? I'm a broker. I'm trying to make money here. Sign that paper that says you know I'm an agent and I'm trying to make money. So you're telling them how you find the honey hole, right? No, this is how they can do it. This is how, this is an example of how I found my honey hole, yes, but I've got a whole worksheet that goes around how they can pinpoint where they want to be investing. Do you think there's any analytical geeks out there oh, yeah. like me? I don't know, but you'll have to do that part of it because I'm Is there anybody think. out there that's an analytics geek? Okay. I love spreadsheets. I love numbers. I'll sit there all day. I'll, I'll tell you how big of an analytics geek I was. Mm -hmm. Um... When the uh, when the election was happening this year, oh my gosh. I was getting so frustrated with it. the numbers that were coming in. And if you looked at one channel, it showed one thing. And if you looked at another channel, it showed another thing. And, you know, then they were saying, well, it's getting really close or whatever. So I actually went and found four different websites that were giving you real time data from all the different secretary of states and voting polls and all that stuff. So I actually created my own spreadsheets and I was downloading real time data and I was coming up. So uh, I already knew the results about uh, 52 Don't tell minutes them or so before that you're smarter than the news channels. everybody. Uh, well, I, pretty much everybody just walking around is smarter than most, you know, uh, stuff. I mean, who let's the hell keep talking about anyway. The bonus. Uh, I love numbers. Okay, and I have a much different approach for finding where I want to invest. Oh, that's true. And how I do it. Um, Whitney doesn't use my system because she's Not never really had to. Uh, she uses what works for her. Um, but I use something that is a mathematical certainty to tell me exactly where I need to invest. So if there's anybody out there that's an analytics geek and you want to get into the numbers and that's something that you would be interested in, uh, maybe we add that in as well. I'd love to talk about that. It's it's it's, it's actually my favorite. Um, I'm adding Jason's and I think it's, I think honey it's pretty, hole pretty exercise slick. bonus pretty slick. right now. Well, somebody's got to tell me they want it before. Anybody want it? it so. I know somebody does. Anyway. Alex is out there. He's analytical too. 
Anybody want Jason's version? He goes into talking about like where jobs are and where they're adding roads and how to read, how to go to the meetings. And Christy's already in and she's she wants it. There we go. Absolutely. All right. now, now I've got the right motivation. I if there's one, if at least if there's one person that'll listen, I'm, I'm good. That's all I need. I just need one. I need it's, somebody else. To it's listen like to do, it's <laughs> like doing your deal, right? You just need to get that one. You just need one. You just need one. That's it. So, uh, okay. Finishing up the agency bonus. I also have a video. I don't really have a worksheet on this, um, but I've got a video that talks about broker negotiation. If you're having a little bit of a hard time with your broker and making sure that they're going to be okay with you investing, even if you don't invest weird, I got you, baby. Uh, and then I've got a section. What would Whitney do? Get the contract signed, get the contract signed, let it go or get the contract signed. <laughs> uh, and then Jason still has to do what would Jason do, uh, which would also be get the contract signed. Uh, we've got a soft staging kit. So if you're not really aware, a staging kit is where somebody, professional stager comes in and throws all sorts of nice stuff in the house. I teach a soft staging kit, which you can carry in in like a laundry basket and decorate the house. It's not as good as a soft staging kit, but it's just got to be good enough to make a woman imagine herself in there. All right. It's got to be homey enough that a lady could say, I like this. I would not decorate it like this, but I like this. Okay. That's a soft staging kit. Uh, and I give you a shopping list. So I'm going to tell you to go shopping. Uh, I've got the different types of real estate investors. And this is also where I talk about the real estate pyramid. Uh, cause there is a hierarchy to real estate. Uh, this is going under the contractor ruler, how to find contractors, how to choose the best one and estimating repairs. We, we need to move that up to the contractor ruler. Uh, then we got tools and templates. That's all the scripts. There's a lot of these scripts in this workbook down here. Um, but then we've got rebuttals. Uh, and we talk about how to make a, a flyer that'll make the house sell your countertop sales force. Man. Whew. All of that for only $9.97. It's like a no-brainer. It's like cracking into my brain and being able to watch it on repeat as many times as you want to. And then, if that's not enough Whitney in your life, I'll give you a workbook so you can read about it too. This is not done. This is just the seller's section. I got more to put in for buyers. And when you get this, I've got it uh, on single sided so that I can make notes on the other side. But if you print it in, <laughs> Sherry says, where can I purchase it? WhitneyNicely.com slash go. Uh, and if you're in the Rockstar group and you've been without Wi-Fi or been under a rock, if you're in the group or the one-on-one -on -one coaching, um, there's a special video in the group, uh, the student group Facebook page, that'll tell you how to get first deal done fast.